Welcome back to Living Well. We're here with Dr. Samuel Wu. Doctor, welcome to the studio. Thank Good you. to see you. Thank yeah, you for coming nice in. You. you know, we want to talk about internal medicine, your specialty. Give us a little background on internal medicine. Well, uh, uh, internal medicine is uh, pretty broad uh, meaning and uh, including primary care and internal medicine. We take care of patients from age 18 above all the way uh, as old as 105, my youngest patient I call. <laughs> and uh, we have a variety of disease and diversity of disease uh, diseases. Uh, well, we will talk we about care. cardiopulmonary health, joint pain in just mm -hmm. a moment, but Wellness Secrets Video Crew has recently visited your office. Let's take people inside for a look. Uh, the reason Dr. Wu has made a difference in my life because he, he assessed me and uh, uh, he caught an early stage of, uh, of a spinal cord tumor that was uh, growing in the back of my neck. I'm in good health and I'm in good hands and I'm happy about that. When he examine you, uh, he go through uh, the examination very thoroughly and uh, put you at ease. How are you? Fine. Great. Uh, good to see you back again. Good to see you. One of the passions I have in life is loving what I'm doing as a physician, helping other people and uh, helping them to get through the difficult time, walking them through the darkness and seeing them getting better. I do notice your blood pressure is a little bit high. We have the state of art uh, technology. My special interest is in cardiopulmonary as well as neuromuscular disease for pain controls, for instance. And I believe by preventive medicine and identify, identify patients at high risk, for cardiovascular disease, we can minimize or eliminate the disease at early stage. You know, if, if anybody's lo out there looking for a great doctor, I mean, he's, he's the guy to see. He's the guy to come to, and he'll take care of all your needs. Oh, he, he's a truly personal, uh, trustworthy person, uh, Dr. Wu. That uh, uh, makes me feel very comfortable uh, to, uh, to come to see him. I think he's the best doctor here in Gilroy or anywhere around in my book. All right, Dr. Wu, now help me understand mm -hmm. what good cardiovascular health really is with this model that you brought. And we start with yeah. what is normal to what becomes fatty deposit, and then by the time it becomes a thrombosis or totally obstructive clot, yes. you are in a danger zone that yes. you could have prevented back when. What stages are people at when they come to you? And also, mm -hmm. what is the timeline here and how to prevent this? Well, the important thing is uh, we have to uh, identify their risk factors. If they're uh, sedentary or if they're eating a lot of fast food and healthy diet, as well as their uh, underlying risk factors, such as their genetic background, uh, family history, coronary disease or stroke, or if they have any uh, hyperlipidemia, high blood pressure or diabetic themselves, uncontrolled or out of control. Well, we should note that a rupture would take place before thrombosis or an obstructive clot, right. like the rupture, that, that doesn't sound good. I mean, that, that's very close to where you have a vulnerable area. Well, modern medicines uh, bring us more comfort that uh, with the progression of the plaques, this plaque process takes uh, 10, 15, 20 years. So we have plenty of time to catch up and to stabilize those plaques. So the most important thing is, doesn't matter where, uh, which stage we are with those plaques forming, as you see on the model, uh, we can still, never too late, to modify them and reduce their risk significantly up to 80 or even close to 100 percent. Now you help people with joint pain. Some of this are injections that they could you know, take part in. What do you have here with these models with joint pain and injections? What are we looking at? Yes, uh, so that comes out a good question. Uh, the elderly come to my office, 70, 80 year old, they have knee problems and they use that as excuse and not able to exercise or do any activities. So I offer them this uh, alternative, which is a, a glycoprotein, that injection into the knees, which helps to restore the cartilage of the knee meniscus and also help the inflammation process and uh, I see miracle results, and uh, they were sentenced to surgery or total knee replacement by orthopedic numerous times, but when they come to me for help, we're able to help them. As a result, they are able to be back to the gym or to the pool or to the uh, treadmills, do more exercise for their cardiovascular prevention. No, so exercise is important. We talked about diet as it relates to cardiovascular health, but 
in a general sense, mm -hmm. lifestyle modification. This is something that's important for you to try to explain to patients. What are you yes. talking about? I think the key point is uh, set a tone for them, have, a, have the right mindset, They're, keep them motivated. So they'll be motivated and, uh, and uh, not try to scare them to death, but try to motivate them, uh, identify their risk factors so they have the right mindset. And once their mindset is uh, reset at a healthy level, uh, they will stop smoking, they will stop drinking, uh, or cut, cut it by half, I call it, gradually. Or they could uh, continue on uh, uh, exercising. I told patients uh, seven days a week, no break. We should do it at, at a daily basis. And uh, uh, different form of uh, exercises, such as uh, uh, swimming, uh, walking, running, weightlifting, aerobics, dancing or just simple jogging. Well, I'll you say. know, we talk about how it's having a positive attitude and how that would help impact one's health. What do you do to push people toward thinking differently to mm. putting away cigarettes, well, putting away you know, alcohol and, and getting into a mm. healthy diet and a healthy exercise lifestyle? Well, we have to look into their underlying problem. If they have a lot of uh, psychosocial social stress, I think all of us pretty much nowadays uh, especially in the economic downside, uh, have a lot of stress in our life, in our home, in our work. Uh, we just have to uh, realize those psychosocial stress and try to release it and in a positive way. I think exercise is a good positive way of helping to release the stress That's in our life. Super explanation of what internal medicine is. People can see it here. Thank you so much for coming into the studios. And yeah. if you want more information on Dr. Wu's practice, please visit wellnesssecrets.tv. And if you want to visit his office, well, the information is right there on your screen. Now, coming up, a final look at today's guests and what we learned. We'll be right back. Doctor, thank you so much again. Thank you.